to the Goons Podcast, the only podcast with a vegan, a virgin, a redneck, and a Canadian, and sometimes a black guy. We're pretty probably diverse. True. Yeah, that's no, that probably checks out. Actually, we're so yeah, progressive. We're all over the place. Yeah, we just need like, like an Asian, and then I guess I guess a Mexican. Oh, that'd be cool too. I guess <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, what are we, that's, what are we that's, covering today? That's the intro you went with, huh? All right. All right yeah. <laughs> yeah. We sat here uh, and played banjo for five to ten minutes. And that, oh, and this dude, was I forgot game. I had a banjo. Wait a minute. Oh, can the, can the chat hear it? Let chat hear your the banjo. Chat, there's no chat. <laughs> Welcome back to like. the Goons Podcast. Did everyone have a good Christmas? I just want to point out that we had to sit here and listen to that for like 10 minutes before. Yeah, it's been seven minutes that my recording's been going that he's been playing banjo and then probably another five to seven minutes before that. People it's, would I enjoyed it to hear I that. Did, that was I good quality it. bluegrass. I, it was a free soup concert. I was chilling. I have free stomach bluegrass. aches because of you. <laughs> you have I stomach don't. aches because all you eat is smoked watermelon. <laughs> I've never eaten smoked watermelon. Yet. Yeah, he'll get no. there. You're white and you're vegan. Have, you're going to eat smoked I have a mild watermelon. allergy to watermelon. It kind of fucks with me a little bit. Oh, that's also a watermelon, watermelon allergy. Watermelon allergy. How do you have a... Wa- that's a it's just water. How do you have a... Yeah, no, I wasn't burp number one for the day. <laughs> no, I, that's fine. <laughs> just go ahead and do that. Get a, get all that yeah. air out. You wouldn't, wouldn't want to keep that in. Yeah. I had to depressurize I my... <laughs> I really <laughs> hate you. Did everyone have a good Christmas, dude? Or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa nope. or whatever. No? You, Why? No. Why? What'd you do? <laughs> um. Uh. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, really? <laughs> you Tell me to elaborate. <laughs> uh, what did I do two days ago? He just, uh. <laughs> just started drooling while he was sinking. Uh. Usually, what did? Um, usually my family does something every year, but um, they canceled because of COVID. So. Oh, good. That's smart. Yeah. Actually, well, my yeah, dad came over and cooked, for us. and he made me a vegan meatloaf, which is pretty good. <sighs> And then, um, and then I shit a bunch after that. <laughs> yeah, I no think you could have left that out. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, I was, what the, was the vegan meatloaf? Wouldn't it just be loaf? Why meat? It's just it's made not... out of impossible meat, or whatever it's called. So loaf just dog. It's so just dog loaf. with a loaf on his head. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just I mean, loaf. My, my dad and my my cousin both ate it, and they're both super like anti-vegan, and they said that it tasted like meat. They were actually surprised. So. Well, I mean, by the time you put, like, like enough barbecue sauce and, like, spices and shit on it, it doesn't matter what the fuck's under it. It could have been... Well, yeah, dog obviously. Shit. Well, what if it's a fucking turd? It, it could have been. Well, it's not. It it probably is. Leaf, leaf loaf. loaf. Leaf loaf. You should loaf. start yes. a brand called Leaf Loaf. <laughs> no. <laughs> what I'd are you going to sell? <laughs> what, what is it? Just meat loaf, but made out of leaf. Just like a regular <laughs> leaf? Like, leaf not even, loaf. like, lettuce? Just like a... A leaf mm-hmm. you found on the ground inside mm-hmm. of a local leaf park. Leaf sticks. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, um, what'd you do for Christmas soup? I opened present from Santa. <laughs> what Santa get you? I got socks. So did I. I got a shit ton of socks. I got yeah, socks I, I, and, like, I also shorts. got socks. <laughs> I got socks and, and sweatpants. I also got a uh, hundred dollar, or hundred dollar, hundred year old pocket watch that matches my tattoo, which is actually pretty, pretty cool and thoughtful of my parents. That's cool, epic. Yeah, <sighs> I got a really I don't cool mean to solar powered uh, red dot sight for my gun. Oh, <laughs> of course. So it is I mean, <laughs> green. And You're can just kill you. a living stereotype. I swear America to God, America Christmas <laughs> scares me. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> you got a cool pocket watch. You got a gun sight. Yeah, what's wrong with that? You could kill someone with your pocket watch. It is pretty heavy. If I swung it enough times, surely you it'd be concussed at least. Well, you could shove it down somebody's throat and choke them with it. Yeah, but I kind of <laughs> like it, so I, I'd prefer to not do that. It doesn't have you to be get used it in back. a blunt way. It would just take yeah. you a little bit of time. You could get it back. I want you to leave. <laughs> I was so nobody close. do anything interesting. You guys are all so like, close mm. hitting the disconnect button after you made yeah. that pun. <laughs> Did nobody just, have anything interesting happen? No, it's fucking COVID. Not, there shouldn't be anything interesting. Yeah. Not at all, dude. I, I mean, just, just dude, my close family. That's it. You didn't have like dinner. a fucking naked man on a sled flying down your road or something. 
I'm no. sorry that we're all not in a redneck state where people I don't mean, care about wearing masks. And as getting... the person from the meth head state, no, I did not see that. Unfortunately, yeah, I was actually surprised. Yeah, I don't okay, live in like a well, meth out area. Are fucking so. boring, and you live a very white, boring life. Meanwhile, I'm in the hood. <laughs> you are not COVID in the hood. Like you are not in the hood. I am seen your house. I'm in the hood house. like a chameleon, <laughs> changing my skin color, moving in with the homies, barbecuing, real meat. Did you guys not? You guys are fucking being so quiet. Wake what? the fuck up! Well, for you to finish what? your fucking what? dumb what? sentence. Someone talk to me, goddammit! Did I get a funny gift or anything? No! Uh, uh, what do you mean? I, not really. I'm in an Arab uh, family. I mean, you get a guitar stand? I mean, oh, Bart, cool. you didn't get like a bomb or anything? Yeah, yeah, no, my, my dad gave me a fucking bomb. A live grenade for Christmas. a better detonator. <laughs> I got a pair of slippers. Uh, pretty comfortable. They're Uggs. <laughs> Got, got some uh, Uggs. LED strips for my room. Yeah, Bodhi. Are you a 14 year old girl? What? It's Bodhi. <laughs> <laughs> LED strips for your bedroom? The fact you didn't buy those for yourself. I know you didn't buy those for yourself. He didn't buy anything know. for himself. <laughs> it, it took us putting a gun I feel to his like head half to buy your wardrobe new chair. is just like promotional I free shirts. Chair yet. He just has Raid Shadow Legends t shirts. Royalty That's free t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Just says MCS uh, on there, no copyrights. I bet you have a Kevin McLeod t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually buy one of those. <laughs> yeah, I would. I Kevin McLeod is rich. Big fan, oh, big fan, it. dude. That is uh, fucking cursed. Well, I'm glad all of us had at least safe-ish Christmases. Uh, so oh, no, dude, I was flying down the road drinking eggnog, shooting my gun at people. So, Okay, well, anybody? that sounds pretty yeah. safe in terms of yeah. there. I put a candy cane up my ass. I don't know if you should that. share that. Okay. That's I have a so question good. that I thought of for you guys. Okay. Over the, uh, over the break. Wow, this one's been steeping. Uh, All right. Okay. Um, what's your favorite color? That's that's what that's wow. what actually the question. That's what you uh, sat on for a week. Asked that's it. That's, <laughs> that's my what favorite you color. Sat on for a week. <laughs> that's not actually the question. All right. Um, what's the question? Blue, by the way. <clears throat> what green. would you do? If you All had right, to spend, on, bar. Dun, ba, dun, ba. <laughs> All right. What would you do if you had to spend a whole day with an exact replica of yourself? Fuck myself. Okay, I kind of figured that would. We're be all the we're all thinking it, and he just says it. <clears throat> That's uh, come on, you guys wouldn't give yourself answer. a handy. Come on, <laughs> oh, I I would. Yeah, no, I I'd, I'd rail me, but I would probably know. look at my butthole because like, <laughs> I don't I can't <laughs> really <laughs> see it. Yeah, what's you going could, on in there? Take a picture of it. Squatter just, your just camera. Bend over with a, a little yeah. hand mirror. You haven't. I'm not the only one who's done that. Right? <laughs> okay. You all looked at your buttholes, right? No. Oh, I absolutely oh, have been butt naked and turn on my front camera and set my Wait. phone on the floor and just stand over it. People don't. People don't look at their buttholes. Dude, do you just squat on a mirror while recording? Wow. No. <laughs> No, I what just do you care I about pe- looking at your butthole. Yeah, what are you just seeing if you left it? I'm gonna give myself there? a colonoscopy. You've never been curious just what what it looks like back there. <laughs> no. I bet mine's dirty. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I hate like that place. Cleveland Brown. <laughs> I bet mine's dirty. <laughs> Chat, you guys looked at your buttholes. Leave no. a comment. Chat. <laughs> what would you actually do? Like, what, would you guys actually do anything interesting um, besides fuck yourself or look at your asshole? Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> that checks out. Um, I don't know. I was gonna say like I'd have him go rob a bank, but it would still look like me, so it'd be kind of pointless, wouldn't it? Right. Uh, Ugh. yeah. I, I I don't know. I I don't know. What, what what advantage would that have? Like if I was still in school, I'd, I'd send it to it school. It doesn't necessarily twin, have much. to have an advantage. I mean, you could have a fun day of playing catch with yourself, Blark. That's stupid. Like you're you're always trying to get ahead monetarily from everything. Yeah. So like, why don't you put yourself off your high fucking rich pedestal, you fucking Middle Easterner, and come up with a good answer? <laughs> Not sure what he's really saying to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. I like, I like that. I like the passion. Keep it going. Yeah. 
Ah. God, you guys are fucking uh, boring. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what would you do, Soup? Come on. What you would you do? Since you're so I would interesting. Fucking, what would you do? Around, I would fuck with people. I don't know. Yeah. As yeah. why would you can just do that yourself though? Well, you don't need another. Yeah, but you. think about how funny it would be to like walk into a nursing home and there's some like old woman there who has like something fucked up with her mind and you walk in and you're like, "Hello, I am God." And then, like, a clone version of you walks in, and they're also like, I am also God. Can you imagine how, like, free would just your actually, actually, no, one would be, if you dressed one as a devil and was an angel, that would be fun. Oh, yeah. Ooh. See, now we're talking. That's a good okay. idea. Or, like, you could just be really fucking weird and just, like, walk yourself around on a leash. And just <laughs> see how fucking confused people would be. <laughs> just seeing a guy walk himself on a leash from another guy just who's the a same guy. Taking a piss on people's like sidewalks and shit in their lawn. That's yeah, what I, I would. Like. I don't know about all that. I was just gonna say like go to a grocery store, but yeah, I reckon you could go shit on somebody's lawn too if you, if you were keen. I would on probably that. learn a synchronized dance. That'd be wholesome. You can do that you without just, a clone. You just do a TikTok. Dance. Yeah, but imagine how much cooler it would be with a clone. I guess everything would be cooler with a clone. I don't yeah. feel like there's a right answer to this question. Alright, what could, would you do, Miguel? Everything's you could, just kinda like, you I don't know. You could tag-team your girlfriend with yourself. That'd be something. Ooh. That'd be oh. interesting. What if your other clone fucked better, and then they started fucking them and not you? Well, then I'd put a gun there for a day. No, it's literally you <laughs> as a separate entity. There's nothing different. So we can't do anything better or worse. Right, it's just you. Separate. <clears throat> oh, as a good prank? You could go to your friend's house, shoot yourself in the face, and then go to your friend's house again. <laughs> As Tell your to kill yeah, just, himself, yeah. Just or just say. have one commit mass murder, and then <laughs> both of you here. probably go to jail. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, that, that doesn't really give you a One time that's, I'll babe, Yeah, that's like, like, that's yeah. like robbing the bank one, where it's, it's still you, even though it's not like you. So, you know. Still fucked there. <laughs> this has not been a good topic for us. We had no good answers. I'd probably just send my clone to do my math test for me because I don't want to do it. You are 27. Well, there would be no different outcome. <laughs> you are 27. Like, you would still, yeah, you would still yeah, I get to sit home and play video games. You would do that anyway. <laughs> you dropped out of high school. What math test are you taking? <laughs> I would want my uh, clone to sleep through a podcast. That's what I would want my clone to do. Why wouldn't, you, why wouldn't you have the clone do the podcast for you and then you can sleep? Nope. Nope. That doesn't make any sense. You guys can nope. do a duet. That benefits your clone and not you. I got another question for us. <laughs> I got a question. Okay. What were all of our fears when we first started making videos? Like, did you guys have any, like, <clears throat> insecurities or, like, I was fears of, of shit? IRL people would find my channel. spiders. Okay. Okay, you just Loneliness. have a lot of spiders crawling around you while you're recording. And yeah. you just got used to it over time. Just don't and like heights. spiders. Oh, I hate heights, did too. You, did you make a channel about spiders and heights? That's why were you scared of that when you started a channel? I was just skydiving in the rainforest. <laughs> that's right. a... That's, this is dumb. That's bad. You really fucking suck <laughs> at podcasting. <laughs> this is really no, dumb. No, for real, though. What? <laughs> um... My fear was that I'd be stuck doing Black Ops 2 for the rest of my life. That was my legitimate fear. There's a Breaking timeline out of that. where that's happened. <clears throat> okay. That, that's that's all you gotta say about that soup. All right. That's uh, that's a, that's a that's a fair fear, dude. I was somewhat scared of that with Siege, but then yeah, and then that didn't Being happen. Stuck so doing I was happy one about thing, that. like if this one niche thing, was my biggest fear in the beginning. Yeah, imagine just having to look at dicks the rest of your life. Like that's it. That's the only thing <laughs> that got me. still he still does this. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but that's not the only thing he has to do to get views. Right, right. Your other content does fine. Right. Yeah. Pretty happy with where it is now. So. Yeah. Fear conquered, baby. <laughs> yeah. Mine was just IRL people finding out about my channel. Like I didn't want. I didn't tell anyone. I told one of my best friends, and I think I told Smitty pretty early on, and that was it. Like I didn't tell my girlfriend. I didn't tell my family. I didn't like tell anyone until I was at like a thousand subs. I don't know why. I just did not want people knowing about it. Yeah, I didn't tell people till I was at like ten or twenty thousand either. I waited for a while. That's fair. Just a weird thing. But now all my IRL friends know about it. So yeah, when fucking it's when fine. people put up like videos of mine, 
when I'm there, I just I want to fucking die in a house fire. I yeah, that's that the shit. worst. That's it's the literally the worst. worst thing ever. Oh, like when you're hanging out and they're like, "Oh, let's gather around and watch Blark's new video." Yeah, like <laughs> we are fucking. And then it turns out to be like a World of Tanks video. Yeah, it's, like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the worst. It's the worst sponsored video. <laughs> yeah, some dog shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's. Uh, I've had that happen to me before. When I'm like, ah, don't don't watch that one. <laughs> like, yeah. If you want to watch one, let me at least show you one that's kind of good. Do like your friends that have watched it? Do they have like similar humor to you, or were they like thrown um, off some, by your content? Some do, and some don't. Um, like some don't have offensive humor, so some of them watch the videos and they're like, "Ooh, how wow wow! How did you get away with saying that?" You know, some of them don't get it, but uh, yeah, most of them most of them have like similar sense of humor. <laughs> I'd say that's that's good. They they uh, they started like doing the my friending voice, like all the that all my IRL friends that. Yeah, Same. they're like, my friend. Oh. Dude, my girlfriend did that. I was so close to getting arrested for domestic abuse. <laughs> I was like, no, that's Coward. that's not happening. You should embrace <laughs> it. Dude, it's yeah. fucking awful. Do it during sexy time. Oh, yeah, no. my friend. Take it. <laughs> oh, my friend, you're going to take my sausage. Mm, yeah, my friend. Take my gold meat. Sausage. Oh, my friend. Little sausage, mother yucker. Take my little sausage, my friend. My little call Canadian her mother yucker. Sausage. Yeah, I'm going to call her mother yucker. Like mother you yucker. like that mother yucker? Like mother yucker. Like mother yucker. Mother yucker. Mother yucker. I'm going to. Yeah. What do you want me to yuck? Oh, yeah. I'm going to yuck on my bushka, mother yucker. Yeah, mother yucker. Yeah, mother yucker. Oh, I'm about to yuck. I'm about to yuck. I'm gonna yuck. Like gonna puke. I'm gonna <laughs> yuck. <laughs> just throw up oh. all over. Yeah. I'm gonna yum. <laughs> oh, imagine if you threw up every time you came. That would be so unfortunate. I do. Blow I mean. chunks. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would. I'd okay. probably. Yeah, I'd probably take I, a bag. I'll throw in up my every face. time because then the reality sets in that I'm fucking my sister. So it oh, it's not clarity. Queasy. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I get horny again. Don't give a fuck. I anyway, one of my topic. first fears. <laughs> one of my first fears when I was doing videos was my accent, because I started doing commentary <clears throat> videos and I made a couple of them on like MW2 or some shit like that, and people were commenting, roasting me about my accent and how like young I sounded, <laughs> and you know it hurt my feelings at first because I didn't understand why people. <laughs> <laughs> didn't like my accent <laughs> and then I just started going full blown redneck and then people started loving it so I was like best decision you could have ever made yeah, yeah. you literally made a series off your accent fucking redneck yep. trolling <laughs> yeah people didn't like it at first like new people finding my channel were just like shut the fuck up redneck bitch I mean when you're a small channel people just shit on you for everything dude yeah, I got right. people literally got mad at me like, it, when I first started YouTube, they would say I'm copying Wildcat because sometimes I sound like him. <laughs> I literally would say my whole video is copying Wildcat Pe because people's, our accents at some point are slightly similar. People's favorite thing to do in the comments is say that somebody's copying somebody. People yeah. will reach so far to do that. Oh, it's fucking insane. The well, there's, there's not much you do. can do differently when it comes to being a funny moments YouTuber. You kind of like... I mean, you make jokes, you put fucking subtitles on it. There's yeah, hundreds of other YouTubers doing that. Like, like you guys that, that was my thing. Oh, yeah. I, I was like, I'll first. use my accent to be different. You know? <laughs> Dude, that did was... you just say, did you just say Vanoss's crew laughed first? <laughs> so now, <laughs> nobody else can do that. And if yeah, anyone saying, else laughs like, on YouTube. That's how far people reach with that shit. Like, yeah. anything you do can be copycat. To be fair, though, there is a lot of people. The amount of, like, I still, when I was, like, a small channel, to find friends, I would go to, like, let's say something I was making videos on, like GTA, and I would just go on newest uploads, and I would just look for smaller YouTubers making, like, funny <laughs> moments shit. And I still do that. I did that a couple times. I would do that, too. Yeah, I still do that now, just to see, like, if there's any interesting up-and-coming <laughs> YouTubers that I find. And the amount of times they will have literally identical intro as fits. Where it's like the fucking oh, weed music. Did, 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 yeah, and then the text will pop up, and it's just like, it's literally identical. And I'm just like, okay, like that, that is stupid. Like, I understand, yeah, like, too far. taking inspo from Fitz's videos. That's, you know, inspo. that's fine. Yeah, inspiration. What if you never shorten that word? It's a lot. No. It's a long word. Really? That seems that like is so a lot of syllables. Inspo. Yeah, that's like white people culture. Inspiration. That's five syllables. Yeah, there's a lot going on there, so inspo. 
God, glad, glad I could teach you that. I feel like shortening words is black people culture. I, like, I think know. about a black person saying young money. You know it's not going to have all the letters in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why would they only be saying that and not like talking that about like a black in, person investing thing. your 401k? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like, you know, like, 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 uh, inspo is white people shit. Whenever I think of inspo, I just think of some mom on her I Pinterest think board. Of a, I can't yeah, think of a black too. person saying, man, yo, like... Even the weekend didn't spell it all the way, Blark, is all I'm trying to say. Like, even the fucking weekend. What's that like, have to man, do Lil, with anything? Lil Yachty is my inspo, man. Like, people aren't saying that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they say man either in that case, yeah. but... Um, yeah, they say main. Actually... Okay. Maybe Gucci Mane is my inspo. Maybe black people make words longer. Because, like, Mane, that'd be M A N E. Maybe they just Can we say words how they want to the say topic? it. Can we please change the topic? I'm getting way too close to <laughs> cancel culture no, shit. No, we're, bring, we're bringing Stop a black guy on next week. talking about what an entire race does. I mean, your accent makes it, like, ten times worse, too. So. Yeah, so you can <laughs> say like something that's you. not bad. You can say something that's not bad at all, but because of your accent, it's immediately racist. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, I love Jesus. Yeah, you're racist. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so you hate Arabs? Yeah, that's pretty much, <laughs> yes. pretty much what I have. Okay. Uh, that is awful. Okay, right. next topic. topic. McNasty, you never answered. You just said heights what and was spiders. The oh, my God. McNasty has done nothing but when... make noises, answer it wrong or yawn <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> um... The biggest fear about starting YouTube, right? So that was the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just something yeah. you had earlier. Um, was the question. Um. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh you know what? I, you know what? I, just, I, I quit. Know, I actually, think. I don't really remember. I, I quit. I just actually, I actually quit. I you know, I'll take we, your twenty-five percent. Yeah, I was gonna say we legally can all three of us vote him off the podcast and take his twenty-five percent share of the LLC. So. Uh, oh yeah, uh, that's all, true. All, all, all in favor, say aye aye. Yeah, I, I, I yep. I like Answer I the have... fucking question, nasty. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have to have been afraid of something. The biggest fear, part of like, <laughs> say, I don't uh, know. I'm trying uh, to remember. Uh, one more say, time. Yeah, I, I swear to God, mic quality. I don't know. It was terrible. Oh back my then. god, of that course. was your my fear, mic, mic quality. quality. I mean, like everybody, every YouTuber has the just like generic fears. Like, well, what oh, was yours? Fail. A lot of people or, aren't YouTubers and are curious. I guess by, well, I was just gonna fail. I guess I don't know, like never grow or okay, did that's, not become something. That's fair. Yeah. Did you guys okay. when you guys started? Did you guys have like a set number of subs you thought you could get to, but were like, I'm confident I can get to this, and I'm gonna do that. I'd say 25 million. Okay, well that that's yeah. big. You're shooting for the stars. That's something. <laughs> How many channels have 25 million? I wonder. Less than 100 for sure. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> More than is gonna be made, by me. All right, that's good for you. I'm looking forward to it. Just mine was mine was 10k. I was like, I'm making videos until I either hit 10k or my videos are actually getting zero views. And then I was like, once I'm at 10k subs, I'm gonna like reassess and decide if it's still worth doing YouTube. And obviously, here I am. So it was, I don't know. That was just like when I started, like the first video I uploaded. I was like. I'm gonna do these until I hit 10k and see what happens there. 10k was a was a weird number for me because I remember uh, when my channel started growing from that Fitz compilation or Ainsley compilation. Um, yeah. I remember after hitting 10k, I was like, I was just like, oh my god, this is like getting serious. And that was before I had actually like talked to Fitz, so I was still like really worried if he was ever gonna see that video and just like hate me. So I just remember like around that time I was hitting 10k, I was just like, oh my god, like. This guy's gonna see me growing off of him, and he's just gonna be like, "Wow, fuck this guy." But uh, yeah, that's yeah, no. that's 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 fair. But like, I mean, I don't know. I feel like Fitz is pretty similar with us in terms of like people uploading our content for their own, you know, gain. Like somebody like Sim Poppy Rick, he's always our go-to example. Like, I don't think any yeah. of us ever had an issue with him no. um, nah. uploading our shit because, like, as long as it's fair and he he makes them. Like out of like thirty different fucking videos and streams and shit and like oh yeah he definitely doesn't yeah, just re-upload our yeah he doesn't just re-upload our content exactly as we did 
So I think like fifth one is he just did like, of um, out of context moments must have taken him a long ass time. Oh, they all just take a him of, a long time. Yeah. I mean, half of it is just watching our shit content for like eight hours a day. I don't think I could bring myself. Could you imagine? <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> I would lose it listening and to seeing all the same clips multiple times. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that is not fun. Soup, what was, what is this? What am I looking at? I was here? looking for topics. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this. <laughs> somebody, some guy named Trav Trav 1718 <laughs> said, so I, I go through the comments to look for shit for us to talk about. And I saw this <laughs> thread. <laughs> Topic ideas. What is your favorite car? <laughs> favorite truck slash SUV and dream cars. Then the next comment from Trav Trav is, Vegans will die if they don't have proper nutrients. Dash, dash, Benjamin Jefferson. Then he commented again, Vegans will die if they don't have meat in their diet. Underscore, 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 underscore. Lowercase Benjamin Jefferson only capitalized in. Yeah, why is he pronouncing that in so hard? Jefferson. <laughs> that was just an odd... <laughs> what, a we, what a combination. I just wondered how that shit happens. Like, how does somebody, like, comment three times and not after, like, the first or second one go, yeah, nobody probably cares about this. I should shut up. But <laughs> they just keep going. I think he was born in 1718. Wait, like, he commented. <laughs> Somebody's grandma on the fucking podcast. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was uh, that was a journey. Should we answer? Should we talk about that, McNasty? If you don't have proper nutrients, you're gonna die. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I'm already <Okay>. dying. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got some pretty cool news for you guys. Okay. Yeah. What's happening? Uh, my friend bought one square foot of land in Scotland and put it in our names. So now I am legally a lord. Whoa. I Lord saw that honking. ad on Instagram, and I was thinking, what idiot would buy this? <laughs> and you've just answered that. <laughs> yeah, my friend bought it for me, so I can actually go to the DMV and have Lord on my license. Okay, but I told my friend, I was cool. like, I was like, dude, if a cop was to pull you over and <laughs> checked your license and saw that, especially where I live, I'd probably die. Nobody probably with get shot. Nobody with Lord in their name has ever Lord. driven a Ford Raptor besides you. <laughs> <laughs> I take pride in that. But I just couldn't imagine a cop. <laughs> they would think it was a fake license. Or if I go to like buy alcohol or nicotine yeah. or whatever. Lord Dallas. Like, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty sick though, to be honest. I just thought yeah. it was super fucking stupid. I didn't know you could like put Lord. I thought you just could randomly have one square foot of land like you own that you could just go there and build a small house on that land house. i didn't know, I didn't well, know no, you actually put, own it yeah i know but it's like i didn't understand the reason why but i guess if it, if it allows you to put lord in your name then it's worth can you stop yawning you dumb box headed fuck <laughs> <laughs> love me no nasty's super happy Very to hard. be here right now <laughs> yeah what's going on today do you not sleep enough huh yeah no i woke up at like uh like 11 or like 10 30 in the morning and i just can't get back to sleep i saw you guys and, uh, messaging at 7 a.m yeah. today <laughs> it was like 4 a.m here when i went to bed yeah dude so that I shit didn't sleep for super long i went to bed at nine that's weak shit that shit gives it's me almost anxiety like if you know you have a job coming up you should get the proper sleep i think that i'm a lord fuck you he is well, one technically i am a lord is, so. so well put on your fucking metallica crown then you bitch I'd be kind of okay. sick, actually. Won't you go lay in bed, you sedentary piece of shit? I want to. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's find another topic. Yes, please. I said I was going to be nice today. Oh, somebody said spaghetti or meat again. <laughs> Why does that keep coming back? Topic. Brian, <laughs> Brian says, topic, pickles or glass? <laughs> <laughs> As if at any God. point in your life you have to choose one or the other. You have what to be will I make these make windows out of? Yeah. <laughs> what will I put on my burger today? <laughs> Topic, what's your favorite type of meat? Oh. Hmm. Um, That's yeah, tough. So, so yeah, so what's your go-to kind of meat? Ribeye steak. 
dry chicken? I would probably have to say chicken. I love steak. Really? But I, just eat, I eat chicken way more than I do yeah, steak. Yeah, so do I. But I like, if I had the option and wouldn't get colon cancer from doing it, I would eat ribeye steak like three times a week. I love that shit so much. But yeah, I definitely eat chicken more. I just, I'd prefer to eat beef, but obviously moderation. Like nasty. Is hello. <laughs> Wait, I can't you, answer you, that question. You ate well, meat no, I mean, for twenty-seven years of your life. You've been vegan for a month. Answer the goddamn you question. You, 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 you went vegan today. for I'm pussy. Gonna I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Next oh, topic. You no. are the okay. McNasty's a vegan, and he took fucking ten minutes to tell you that. All right. Worst Christmas gift you've given or received. Oh, uh, I, <laughs> a pair I of got, gloves. What did you get? Did you give or receive that? I received a pair of gloves. <laughs> that sounds kind of useless <laughs> what, in California. What kind of gloves? <laughs> it seems like useless leather there. gloves. For, I don't know. Just did gloves. you know it's an act of war <laughs> if you slap somebody with a leather glove? An act of war. Yeah, apparently it's an act really? of war. I actually can't confirm this. I was just told that. <clears throat> I'll, so if I'll, I go I'll out Google. and slap like a hundred people in public with a leather gr like glove, is that terrorism? Uh, no, <laughs> I think it's just an act of war still. On a hundred different people. So. Maybe in like the old British days or something? I don't know if now, like... Um, yeah. hold on, I'll look into it. You guys keep chatting. Well, I'll don't tell think... you the worst Christmas gift that I've probably given. I just could not get over what this was. Um... Someone in my family that I didn't really know what to buy for them linked me an Amazon link of uh, a candle that they really liked. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll, you know, I didn't like click on it immediately. I just kind of let it sit like, okay, I'll check that out when I get a chance or whatever. So like a day or two went by and I'm like, oh, I should probably buy this candle so it'll be here on Christmas. Click on the link. It is a $105 candle. <laughs> What did it smell $105 like? $105 candle. That better have smelled like Gwyneth Paltrow's uterus for $105. Yeah, the fuck <laughs> buys candles that cost that much? I just want to know. Now, what, what uh, Paltrow's candles and I can't are. even I can't even answer like I can't say that question because I bought it because I didn't know what else to get them. Really? I probably would have just told them to go fuck themselves. Oh. But like I didn't have anything else, and I was like, well... I would have bought them a regular fucking candle, and they would have not known the difference. I just don't understand why anyone would buy that, but I bought it, so... <laughs> was it like a Gucci candle or something? I don't Some even know. Some weird brand? I don't, I don't know. I just, I felt depressed, and I've told Off everyone... candle? <laughs> I've told everyone in my family, like, yeah, I, I bought a $105 candle. Like, just the fact that it's a fucking candle... Dude, right. it, you You're light it on fire it. and it goes away. <laughs> yeah, literally. Well You're light just getting rid of it. Fire. Yeah, that's fucking stupid. I I never paid more than like twenty five dollars for a candle, and like that thing, they last yeah. me forever. I feel like twenty or twenty five dollars is a like really reasonable number. Reasonable candle cost. <laughs> yeah, that's like, and even still. If you're spending like twenty five dollars on a candle, that's well, like an, a quality candle. How big was you the know? candle? How big was the candle? Dude, like a regular fucking candle. It was, it was okay. like nothing special. It was like a like thin like, or like not fat? like a. It was like a, a kind of a fat, like maybe eight inches tall candle. That is not. I was gonna say because I've you seen know, ones just like that are like a basic big candle. You know, yeah, I've seen ones that are like. Well, it was just like wick. a five gallon bucket. Full yeah, of wax. I've seen that some that are like. <laughs> I've seen big. some that are like that. They're like eight wicks, and they're literally meant to burn for like a whole year. Oh uh, yeah. And you buy See, like that would be year. worth it. I would have totally been fine with a hundred dollars for that. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking ass. stupid. All right, yeah, we I just should... could not get over that. <laughs> what about a hundred and five candles for a dollar? I'd be pretty. Good. That would be nice. Mm, yeah. yeah. It probably Nasty smell like for... shit, but yeah. <laughs> it's just a horse turd with a wick just like in dirt it. and grass instead of like a, <laughs> like a cup. <laughs> a wick in it. <laughs> Red Dixie cup. <laughs> Not even like a full on glass. Like a solo cup. cup. Yeah. <laughs> just like a plastic cup. Yeah, sorry, solo uh, cup. I don't know what a Dixie cup is. I don't know why I said Dixie that. Uh, is Dixie plastic? Those are like those little tiny paper cups you get at like the are dentist. They? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. And you can always taste the cup when you drink that. Cup has flavor. Yeah. Dude, what was your worst gift? That's funny you said that. Um. <laughs> I bought uh, Nickelback's Greatest Hits for a relative one time. That's pretty bad. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> Why? Was it just a blank CD? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just static noise. There's nothing. <laughs> uh, Nickelback fans. I was like, this will be good. I just I just feel bad for feeling that. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's <laughs> gross. I don't know that I've ever received like a really horrible gift. I mean, I don't know that I've ever known somebody that's a like a diehard Nickelback fan. <laughs> like that's always kind of a band you just listen to on the radio, and you're like, oh yeah, I know this song. And everybody's actually like obsessed with them. Yeah, I, I can't imagine anybody liking Nickelback enough to be like, I'm gonna get like a big Nickelback flag. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Taking down his Nickelback flag as we speak. <laughs> you do not speak of Chad that. I think, I think the worst gift that I've ever gotten was a lunchbox. That's not bad. <clears throat> Smitty got me a minion. What kind of lunchbox? lunchbox? Just like a shitty lunchbox. I was just like, okay. Oh, and like I don't even think I was in school. Like a. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what do I? It was like two you years can, ago. <laughs> you can pack your lunch at your desk while you're recording. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh yeah, let me take my lunchbox to my room to work. <laughs> <laughs> a little ice pack in there. So 14 steps warm. away from the kitchen. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's uh, that's pretty dog shit. I, I felt really bad one year. Um, my friend who, like, he doesn't make very much money, so this just made it even fucking worse. I He said we were going to do gifts, but we've always done, like, meme stupid gifts. And he got me this super fucking nice sweater from the place he worked at the time, and it was probably, like, $140 sweater, which is like a lot of money for a sweater. And I thought we were still doing dumb shit. So I got him a little uh, a picture with cats playing poker <laughs> and a little tiny rubber Donald Trump and when you squeeze him, poo comes out of his butt. And <laughs> it was probably like 30 bucks combined. Did you buy that for me? <laughs> I, I want got, the Trump one. <laughs> I got him that and and I opened the sweater first, and I was like, oh, oh, I really hope he doesn't open this. And, uh, yeah, I did not, did not, uh, feel great about that. So that was probably the worst gift I've given, is a framed photo of cats playing poker and a uh, rubber Donald Trump. Beautiful. I bought my roommate a Cape Cod t-shirt <laughs> uh, that just had a PNG of... <laughs> A bag of Cape Cod chips on it. That's kind of nice. <laughs> but, dude, the funny thing about the shirt is that it was, it, like, way higher quality than you would ever have thought for a, a T-shirt about a bag of chips. That was a high-quality T-shirt. Like they, they printed that thing on there with some meaning. It's that's, printed on there like, that's good. like it sticks out from the shirt a little bit, but it's not like the kind that sticks to you when you get sweaty. It's like the nice, like... Kind of soft kind. I don't know. It was way better than I thought it was going to be. That's so, yeah. Pretty that's, shitty gift. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's the. It's. It seems like you're just trying to justify your garbage gift. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Do we have another topic? Uh, let's see. Uh, um. Oh, I'm actually, actually chips. hold on. Oh, never mind. I, I actually have I actually have one that I'm surprised we haven't talked about. Um, I feel like Deuce. Actually, I don't Penis know if girth. I know Deuce. Um, what was your first guitar ever? I don't think we've talked about this, have we? No, I don't um, think so. I know. Well, mine was the Squire. Well, I, I guess I started on an acoustic actually. Just like, I feel like everyone starts on an acoustic, I mean, which I don't get because acoustic is genuinely harder to play than electric. Like, I feel oh, like yeah. it makes more sense to start on electric. It, well, acoustic, like, built my calluses a lot faster, for sure. Yeah, so when I went oh, over yeah, to electric, it felt like baby mode, you know, in yeah, terms just of just, like, on fingers hurting. A butter stick. Yeah. Yeah, pretty and much. Mine, mine was uh, mine was actually the exact same Squire as Dew's, but, like, the little kid version. Nice. Oh, um, Pog. How many frets did that thing have? Uh, I still think it had 21, but oh, they okay. were just tiny. Um, cause yeah, it's yeah. meant for like kids with little ass hands. Cause the first time I got a guitar, right. I was probably like, 
uh, God, I don't know. It was probably like nine. And I didn't even want to play guitar. My dad just bought it for me because he liked guitar. And I went to like three guitar practices. And I was like, this is fucking stupid. And I never played it again. But I still have the little guitar. Um, so I guess that was my first guitar, technically speaking. <laughs> Mine was this right here. It's called A Lion by Washburn. And it was like a guitar kit that I got from uh, Walmart. <laughs> oh, one of those. Yeah, like the first yeah. act kit. In the, yeah, in the cardboard man, think, box. Just basic just, strap body. Yeah, it came with like a that. little amp and like yeah. picks and a strap. and Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it was fucking terrible. <laughs> what was your soup? Mine was an ESP LTD MH10. It Ooh, was, that's like the lowest of the low. Yeah, <laughs> it's like ESP. a really, really low end ESP like LTD guitar. Oh yeah, I see. But, wow, that is one hundred and fifty dollars on Amazon. But to be fair, it actually isn't that bad of a guitar. I was gonna say that seems like that's definitely the best out of all of ours. Starting yeah, like ESP, even their lowest end stuff is really, really good. At least in my opinion, it just holds up well over time. Uh, I feel like. <clears throat> Yeah, so there you go, the kids. You don't need expensive gear to get started. Unless you're... Correct. Yeah, those, are, those are pretty or basic. Or your dad is Jeff Bezos. And then you can yeah. probably get away with that. <clears throat> well, I can't really blame my, my parents for getting me that one. Because, I mean, they're not going to go out and spend like a grand on a guitar oh, when they yeah. don't know how to God play no. it. Right, you exactly. Yeah. 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 No, there's no reason I just hear. I just see people in the comments sometimes who are like, oh, well, I just don't have the money or, the, you know, I can't get all the gear to start. Like, you can literally start on a first act. You just got to start playing. You don't even yep. need an amp. If you have, like, a PC, there are ways to plug your guitar into your PC and just, just emulate fucking amps. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's super... I yep. feel like back in the day, that was, like, a good excuse of, like, music gear was expensive because back in the day, you, like, actually needed an amp and you needed all the yeah. gear in order to do anything. But, like, it's so much cheaper nowadays. And, like... Brands like Squire, they're actually genuinely good now. Like, since online reviewing became a thing, they can't put shitty products out because they'll just get uh -huh. review bombed. Like, even cheap-ass Squires are pretty damn solid nowadays. So, like, if you just ignore the name on the headstock, there was so much good cheap gear. So The only thing I... Uh, the only reason I would never suggest a Squire to somebody is because uh, right. of the single coil pickups and just how noisy they are. They are noisy, but yeah, they yeah, are but for someone that Schechter, doesn't like, know how to play. Yeah, yeah but the thing is, you're gonna matter. when you're when you first have a guitar, you're hearing that and you're hearing all that noise, and that it doesn't sound like what you want to sound like. Like that was my problem is when I first got a guitar and stuff. The sound that I was playing out of my guitar sounded absolutely nothing like the music that I wanted to be able to sound like. So when you when your first guitar, you plug it in, it just goes. Just constantly, <laughs> you're gonna, it's gonna discourage you because you're like, well, this sounds fucking most terrible. people probably aren't starting with distortion either. Like, yeah. I never had, I didn't have oh, a distortion pedal when I first started. I, I just same. went straight to my. I had a Marshall oh, track that had a key that knob it. on it, just yeah, turned all the way up. Same, yeah, I just same. cranked that shit. But like, the thing yeah. is, you could also say that about <laughs> shitty humbuckers. Is if you have shitty humbuckers, those things sound muddy as fuck with gain if they're really bad yeah. so it's just it's just a matter of like learning on something and then it's super satisfying when you build your way up to something you you know that's yeah. actually a solid piece of gear i don't know i've never been one to always tell people to start on the best gear ever i just think you should start on something don't that start on the worst enjoy. possible no yeah. no never the worst possible Go to just something Center, that you want to pick up i would recommend starting on an acoustic nah personally. fuck that you don't think there's so? nothing wrong with starting uh, on acoustic they're just bro. too the acoustics are just like I mean, it's good to build dexterity, but, like, I feel like starting on that is just, it's another thing for people to get discouraged about. It depends what you want to play, too, because if you can't play the yeah, music you want to play, then, like, if you yeah. want to play Metallica, and you want to learn Metallica songs, because there are a ton of Metallica songs that, like, beginners could learn, realistically, but, like, yeah. they, they won't be able to play that on an acoustic, so it'll discourage acoustic, them from yeah. picking it up. So that's the only reason I wouldn't say go for an acoustic, but I would just say go for whatever genre you want to play, and whatever guitar you look at and go, I want to pick that up like ten times a day and just do random shit on it, then like that's that's the right one. I don't think just there's like knowing, a set price. I, I say from knowing what I know now about guitar, I wish I would have started on like a nylon string acoustic and learned like classical music. And yeah. gotten really really good at like finger picking and then worked my way into like metal because it would have been so much easier 
to transfer over from that because it'd be like, wow, okay, I'm just chugging him fucking east. Well, yeah, well, yeah, once you, you learn know? classical, <laughs> every genre is baby shit. So yeah, exactly. That's why I wish I would have started with like classical hard ass finger picking, like trying to figure all that kind of stuff out first. Dude, classical musicians basically are fucking like the movie Crossroads. I, 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 I haven't seen, seen that, that so I can't. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Movie. Is that? Is that Eric Steve Clapton? Vai. You, you know the song from <laughs> You know the song from Crosses, but you haven't seen it. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, is it a Steve Vai thing? It is a Steve. Well, Vai Steve Vai's oh, in it, but it's it's not. That's it's, also, it's that's also an Eric Clapton thing. Crosses. It's the kid a, from too. fucking. Uh, right. It's the kid from Karate Kid. What's his name? A kid. He also does guitar. Karate Kid. Yeah, he's a really talented dude. Karate <laughs> guitar <laughs> kid. <laughs> Well, Dude, the kid you from Karate, karate Kid karate. is in the movie Crossroads. <laughs> Doing karate on Omegle. <laughs> I took, I took so karate much classes. less cool. <laughs> Just kicking the fuck out of a watermelon on Omegle. <laughs> <laughs> Chopping a block in half with your hand on Omegle. Doing kados on Omegle. <laughs> Oh, that is... Did you guys ever do karate as a kid or anything like I that? I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. It. I got my like yellow belt, which I think is just like one step above the white yeah. belt. <laughs> white <laughs> belt, yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, I think that is because I, I, like, isn't the way they went off belts by like how nasty your belt got? Like, I'm pretty sure uh-huh. that how it started was like yellow belt. Like you're at a yellow belt when your belt is tinged from sweat, and it goes yeah, like it all the way up to like black. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's where it originated from what I've heard. Oh, I don't know. So I think yellow is I just is know that my, I was like a white belt when I went with my friend, and then my parents gave him like 20 bucks so I could actually enroll in the class, and they're like, all right, yellow belt. <laughs> just kicked one Money. piece of wood. <laughs> 20 bucks, that's all it takes. Said hi you know, all serious karate. <laughs> yeah, but we were like little kids, so it didn't matter. I remember having to do duck walks with like a piece of fucking... Uh, bamboo behind my back that sucked what's what? a duck walk yeah what? like I, you would i would have to like squat walk across the gym like what? a fucking sumo wrestler holding a piece of bamboo like behind my waist of my back with like my elbows what oh, and, like, skill duck walk. Is that, your back what skill is that teaching why would that be used? strengthening your legs or yeah. something yeah you would be very sore every time i came into like the dojo like when you before you walk through the door, you had to like clap your hands real loud and bow every time you oh, walk. Oh yeah, we in. had to do that too. Yeah. Hmm. That's kind of gay. <laughs> I just remember the duck walks because that fucking sucked. Because you had to do it all the way across the gym, all the way back, like five times, and you'd just be dead. Do you guys do any other sports growing up? I don't know if we've talked about this too much. I played baseball for did you yeah, I mean, long ass time. Like I played good. baseball all the, way, all the way up to high oh, yeah, school. Oh yeah, I, I yeah you talked about that soup. I think me and you yeah. have talked about our sports endeavors. I don't think I've ever heard anything about McNasty or do playing sports. So, uh, I was okay. I usually played like shortstop because I was a fast kid. Hmm. So that's where they usually threw me. They made me play catcher a few times. I always hated playing catcher. I sure was all scary, that gear man. And, yeah, and having a dude swinging a giant piece of metal next to my head for a while. <laughs> Yeah, catcher was fun though. I love it's fun as hell, but it can be scary. Like, I hit a yeah. catcher in the head with my bat once. It was his fault, but like, I felt horrible. He like, yeah. it was it was definitely gonna be a ball, but I swung at it anyway because I don't know. I was just like, it's playing house league baseball, so I just didn't fucking care. You just swing at everything. Um, and he like dove to get it, and I cranked him in the back of the head, and I felt so <laughs> fucking bad. <laughs> but like I don't know after that I was like man I do not want to get cranked in the head I don't want to be catcher <laughs> nah I played football for a little bit but Did you? I, I, I quit after like the first year of tackle football because I just wanted to focus on baseball more yeah. so I didn't I was like fuck football but I played center and one time I fucking threw up all over the football and the <laughs> referee yeah the referee wiped it off with a towel like didn't even run it underwater or anything. Just like the one football <laughs> that the organization had, I puked all over like red and orange vomit. Ew! And, Why? Uh, and my my roommate, the guy that's my roommate now, had to go in after me and play center. So he's <laughs> he had to like grab my orange sticky puke. Ew! <laughs> uh, yeah. Why'd you throw up? Were you just like 
overextending yourself? Oh, you were, oh ew, yeah. I think I was, I was probably dehydrated or something. I don't know. That is, that is gross. I used to cry when I struck out in baseball. I was a crier. <laughs> just, nothing has changed. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel uh, like you were really bad at baseball. Like you would hold the bat I was, the wrong the only way. Thing, the only thing that I was <laughs> good at in baseball like was hitting. Up. Was hitting like whenever I hit the ball, I went flying. But like everything else, I just wasn't good at. I remember watching like um, like home movies with my grandparents one time, and they they were those kind of grandparents that always had a fucking camcorder wherever they went, so they were just recording everything. And uh, we were watching. They were like recording me at like playing baseball, and I was in the outfield, and it was just like. It would kind of like skip from one part to another, and I was just kind of like standing there, just like oh, just like looking around, not really paying attention. And then like it skips to the next scene or like the next time or whatever on the on the recording, and I'm just laying down in the outfield, like playing with <laughs> butterflies and just shit, crying in the outfield. <laughs> no, 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 I was, I was just completely like not even paying attention to the game, and I was just like fucking around. With, I was like chasing butterflies around and shit. <laughs> I did that in soccer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like would pick dandelions and just fucking wait yeah. for something to happen. I hated playing soccer. I don't know why I played it for like five years. I fucking hated playing it. My parents would just be like, "You're going. You got soccer again this year." I'm like, okay. <laughs> I wanted to play football, but I was too scared that it would fuck me up for hockey. Cause like, there was a point in my life where I was genuinely considering like. I, I definitely wouldn't have gone pro. Like, I would have never made it to the NHL or anything with hockey. But I definitely would have at least been able to play probably college hockey. So I was, like, at a point where I kind of had to decide if I wanted to do that or, like, just play it casually. So I wanted to play football, but I was so scared that I'd get, like, a concussion and just ruin my whole hockey potential. But I ended up quitting anyway because hockey people are fucking AIDS. It was just travel hockey, like, triple A specifically. People? Yeah, like, dude, hockey players... The biggest egos I've like I've played almost every sport mm-hmm. that's like relevant in North America. Not all like travel and stuff, but just at least played enough to know the kind of people that are interested in it. And like hockey douches were so bad. They all had such big egos. All of them thought they were going to the fucking NHL. And they'd like they 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 just throw slurs at everybody. Like just call everybody gay, but then they'd pee on each other in the fucking dressing room. Like, I don't know, man. I'm weird. pretty sure dude, you guys are the gay ones. Hockey is fucking badass, though. It's like, fun dude, as hell. Name I love one other it. sport where two dudes can just, <laughs> just beat the living just, fuck <laughs> out of one another, and then have a then beer just, after just, the game. They just skate off and sit down, and like, all right, ready for the next play, dude. Every fight <laughs> I've ever been everywhere. in, after the game, I'd see the person in the hallway, and we just like chat after, just like walk in and be like, yeah, like that, that fucking hurt or whatever. Like it was always like. I don't know. That's the one thing I did like about hockey. There is a really, really good level of like sportsmanship between everyone. I think because like, I mean, it's probably not as dangerous as football, but it is. You know, it's definitely can be a scary sport. Um, but like after the game and shit, somebody that you like threw hands with, you just would just chill with. Like have no issues with that at all. Just, I don't know. It is a really dangerous sport. Is uh, golf? I. It's like I birds. So. Birds are scary. <laughs> If you play yeah. in Florida, there's crocodiles on there the There is course, crocodiles. Yeah. Sometimes there's golf courses near, like, cliffs. So if you, like, trip. Ooh. Trip and yes. roll 40 feet beyond the riveting, fence. Riveting commentary, McNasty. Now, bowling. <laughs> now, that's a cool sport. Oh, okay, that's one of the sports I never played. That's an old man sport. You do old man things. You're not old. Yeah, it's like something I- somebody with arthritis does because they can't play uh. baseball anymore. <laughs> I played basketball for a year and I was so shit. Well, yeah, you're so like three foot ass. five. Yeah, I was even <laughs> shorter then. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't take you as the the sporty type, even though you're very. Oh, well, fit. I mean, I play. I, no, I, just, I, I mean, I played baseball for like eight years. Yeah, I but I just, see you as like I just a, couldn't imagine you as like somebody who's like going to college to play a sport. Oh no, thing. no! The I've only, never been the that only thing I can imagine really. you like sport-wise is being like a CrossFit runner. Oh yeah, I can see that. Oh, yeah. I do fucking love running. Like I can see you being like a like a four hundred meter meter sprinter or something Mirror. like that. But as far as like football and stuff, now nah, you. Oh no, just... I would get t- eaten alive in football. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, you are the only person I know that like loves running. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know if that makes me like a psychopath or, or something, but running just is fun, dude. It's fun to just like run and zone out and like 
No stress. I don't mind no doing that with other things, but like, I mean, lifting you have to pay attention to, but like running, I just, every ounce of my body does not like it. It's like, this is stupid and we mm, could do something else so that's mindless, more fun too. and efficient. Like I've been, I told do I've been like rowing. I got a rowing machine. I'm like, that is the only cardio I am ever fucking doing ever again. It's so much more fun than running in a straight line for half an hour. And then running back the other direction for another half an hour. <laughs> well, but, well, what you're doing is pulling a string for an hour. I don't know if it's so much better than running in a straight yeah, line in like, terms of like you entertainment. Least, you but. at least feel like you're like doing something. It's like yeah, fucking you know, full body workout yeah. on top of cardio. We're running. It's like I don't know if it doesn't make me sore the next day. I feel like I wasn't productive enough with it when it comes to working out. Or like yeah, cardio. yeah, you can definitely yeah. I feel that. Well, cardio hasn't made me sore in a long ass time just because I, I do oh, it so yeah. much. No, but. I, but just like rowing, my back was like, you know, back muscles were feeling it. It's like, that's some good shit. Running, I just, I'm out of breath now, but I don't feel like I got to work out kind of thing. <clears throat> I don't know. Fair enough. Rowing looks cool. I've never tried it. I see him at the gym all the time. But Yeah, I've, I, I was always too scared to try. I'm, I don't know why. I always like get freaked out to try something new at the gym because I see some shredded guy doing it and I'm like, He's going to punch me in the face if I do this wrong. But <laughs> yeah, then you realize at the retard. gym, nobody gives a fuck and everyone's just worried about themselves. There is all, there's sometimes there's that one dude that just, he thinks he's the shit and he thinks he's like the rock and he just watches everything you do. And he's like, I could lift heavier than you. And, you know, he's just thinking. Really? I I, oh, I, I've never had that. I've had the opposite where a guy walked around like that, but he just helps people all day. He's literally there. Like, there was days before the pandemic, I'd go to the gym at, like, in the morning and then at the night. And he'd be there the whole time. And he would just walk around, do a set, and then help somebody. And, like, not in a pretentious oh. way of, like, bro, you're doing this wrong. He'd be like, hey, man, like, right. you might throw your back out doing it that way. Just try to, like, straighten this. And he'd be like, if you need any help, just, like, let me know. He doesn't work there. He just walks around and helps people. And he was fucking jacked. Huh. Yeah, see, that's a cool guy. The the guys with the the massive like lifting egos are the are the ones I'm talking about that just kind of walk around with like they, they always have their chest puffed out. Yeah, like <laughs> they just look mad. I'm like, what you mad about, bro? I'm just <laughs> you're just, just lifting doing some shit lateral up, bro, raises, relax. dog. Like what? This ain't that serious. <laughs> Calm down. Yeah, I, I don't. I I feel like that's just with any sports though. Soup, did you get ego baseball players? Oh yeah, there. I mean, there's people like that in every sport. Yeah, that's kind of us thinking of just anytime somebody's better than the average person at something i feel like it just can inflate your ego if you're not careful all right do we have another topic or or are we done master mcnasty it's been one hour master mcnasty is he even here Uh, have you been sleeping yeah i'm just i'm i'm just fucking zoned out right now you're just on planet 12 that's really good to be that way during a podcast yeah i'm glad (laughs) i'm the the only where the only Dude. sort of content is talking, and you're just not doing that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, I think it's time. Yeah, Can you leave that in? It. I, think a, I think it's about time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, God. Well, if you enjoyed this podcast, be Guys. sure to leave a like, comment some shit for us to talk about, uh, subscribe, yep. go download it on Spotify, and hope you had a good Christmas. So y'all or, or other holiday or Kwanzaa, no. Hanukkah, no, um, only Christmas, Israel okay. Day. Hope you had a Israel happy holidays. Day. That's the way to do it. Why don't you okay. go to bed, you stupid? Uh-huh. Don't just name every holiday. <laughs> Hope you had this a good one of this and that. Oh, I'm glad that now that you have something to say. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, McNasty, you're so festive. Name every holiday. Uh, go ahead. Name their best song. Um, town, town. All right, goodbye. I'm ending my recording. (laughs) Goodbye.